so here's the thing i'm obsessed with aspect ratios um you know the ratio of the width versus the height of your image this video is in 16 by 9 and uh, there are plenty of other aspect ratios there is 235 is to 1 there is 185 to 1 there is 2 to 1 and a bunch more other formats like vista vision and all that but one particular format which i like the most and i find kind of fascinating is IMAX. 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 Now disclaimer, this is like in no way a sponsored video, like they're gonna sponsor me. Uh, all of this is purely just out of my own kind of fascination and passion. So take that with a grain of salt or whatever, I don't know, just... So if you don't know what IMAX is, IMAX is basically like a brand of large theaters and large cameras. And the thing with IMAX is just the sense of sheer scale. And they don't do it just simply by blowing up a regular theater. They do that by using a taller aspect ratio. So, you know, movies are presented in 235 is to 1, like that ultra wide aspect ratio. But with IMAX, that is kind of expanded to a taller 19 is to 1 aspect ratio for digital and an even taller 143 is to 1 aspect ratio. Now, on this wide spectrum of filmmaking gear, you know, at the very high end, you have the IMAX cameras, uh, which are used by like select few filmmakers, like the big short filmmakers like Nolan. And then you have your Eric Alexas, your Reds, your Black Magics. And at the very end, you have the iPhone. A lot of filmmakers opt for the iPhone when they are shooting on a budget or just for creative choice. The iPhone has a pretty solid camera. It records 4K60, it has a 12 megapixel sensor, but it can only record in 16 by 9. So the actual camera sensor itself is 4 by 3, but when you switch to video mode, it just chops off the top and the bottom to get that 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And that's perfectly normal. So the other day I did some testing. I took a photo and then captured video from the same exact spot. And I found out that there is a significant amount of crop, not just from the top and the bottom, but from the sides as well. So that's a pretty significant crop and you're losing out on a significant amount of pixels which reduces the kind of uh, the scope to share software solution basically an ios app which will let us record full sense of video or like open gate video as they call it with you know alexas uh, or super 35 but since all of that is boring let's just let's just call it imax and but yeah this is gonna be a fun ride uh, i'm gonna capture the exact process of what I go through while I'm making this thing and yeah it should be fun let's get to work all right we're recording uh hey what's up guys this is Katie Cloudy and welcome to my off-camera look uh yeah this is this is how I look when I'm not recording YouTube videos and because I'm kind of not, I'm basically going to experiment and find out the feasibility of this entire thing, if it's even possible or not. I'm pretty sure it's possible, but it's going to be pretty darn difficult. And yeah, like I said, uh, we're going to be coding our own app so that we can kind of capture full sensor video uh, of the iPhone. And... Uh, I'm kind of just going in blind. I pretty much don't have any exact technical know-how about how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna start kind of just Googling, Googling, Googling and try to find answers to our problem. Get a few cl clues about how can we do this. Let's see what we get. Uh, 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 I think we got a first bit of useful information. Somebody just directly asked, can we capture video natively at 4x3 instead of 16x9? And the answer is apparently by an Apple engineer himself. Yes, you can record a full resolution of the camera to a movie. I think we got our answer. Uh, just got to look up what the hell the Rosy Writer is. Sample quote. Uh, last revision 2016 13 September 2016 X code 
iOS 7.0. This uh, still gonna download it though. It's objective freaking C. How did I miss it? So there are two kinds of uh, languages you use for uh, developing iOS and Mac apps. One is Swift, which Apple released in 2014. And uh, the older one is Objective-C, which has been around since like the 1990s or early 2000s, ever since Mac OS X became a thing. So yeah, uh, stuff like this happens. This is exactly what is sort of, you go so deep and it's basically like going down a rabbit hole and uh, just open random projects from random document archives. <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, oh, this was a bad idea. Mm. All right, day two. Yeah, I'm just gonna try even harder. Uh, but the thing is that I don't have to because I already found a solution. Uh, this is like a one page GitHub gist of uController.swift. It basically has pretty much everything we need, like the very specific set of things that we need, which is start recording, stop recording, and bring up the share sheet when you're done. And it's gonna save it to your photos app or your files app or whatever. And that's amazing. Except the problem is that it doesn't have anything else. It's just this piece of code. So we need to build our own UI, connect that UI to this and you know, set up permissions and all that stuff. So we need to do that stuff ourselves. And also not to mention, we'll have to change this, um, the resolution settings and all that. So what I'm going to do now is copy this and make our own new export project. And, uh, I'll just, I'll just time lapse through the stuff because honestly, this is pretty boring. Boom, our button is done. I feel so pro already. What can I say? All right, I think we are pr pretty much set. Uh, I fixed all the errors and uh, I added the camera permissions, which are pretty important. So I'm just gonna uh, test the first build, connect my iPhone to it and deploy it directly. I mean, this won't run on the simulator, so um, I'm just gonna hit run. Yo. Uh, it's black. Oh, it's working. It's working. It's up. Damn. It is working. Nice. And yeah, we have our startup project up and running very successfully. We just need to kind of uh, modify this to make it 4x3 and uh, 4K 150 megabits per second or 100 megabits per second in bitrate and um, what else yeah of course hdr hlg recording i'm gonna add all of that right now uh so yeah let's just see how that goes so these session presets are basically defining what are what we're actually shooting and the resolutions i just entered into the av asset right of this video settings thing this, these are our export settings. So if I like, if I use like 1920 by 1080 or 3840 by 2160, it's gonna just squish it to four by three and probably like up sample or downsample down sample it. And interestingly enough, there's uh, like VGA and 480p and all this stuff. Um, I think photo should be our main choice. If I if I make it dot photo, I mean the photo mode basically gives us access to the four by three full coverage sensor, and you send all that data into AV Asset Writer, and it turns out 
our you know 4k file so i guess that will work it actually looks like proper 4x3 and not just crop for the sides that's pretty interesting that's that's most definitely working i'm just gonna airdrop this uh yeah all right so it's flipped sideways for some reason but yeah that's that is 4 by 3 video 37 megabits per second not bad 4 by 3 43 32 by 3024 HEVC all of that stuff frame rate what's the frame rate 24 frames per second excellent that's the correct frame rate uh, yeah, so all we have to do right now is um, control the bitrate and set it to 100 megabits per second uh, and change the UI just a little bit. I'm gonna add the IMAX logo and uh, also figure out HDR video capture. That's the main thing. But I think we're getting pretty, pretty close. Uh, HEVC, we are using HEVC. Uh, ITUR BT2100 transfer function key SMTP that's for HLG and video color primary key so set up to BT2022 makes sense um, that's an AV CYBC that's our chroma subsampling matrix uh, ITU RBT2020 uh, yep I'm just gonna pause it there. I'm just gonna copy these settings and I think we should be set. Uh, all right, so we're pretty much set. I added the bitrate and also the HDR settings. Yep, that's definitely HDR. Uh, HLG BT2020, that's all we needed. Not 10, not still eight bits though. Uh, if you want like 10 bit video, you we would use like HAVC main 10 high but um we don't have that option on a profile level uh we only have access to h.264 and h.264 cannot support hdr video so if you're using you have to still stick to 8 bits any hlg video uh which is still not true hdr but I still can't believe that this thing is up and running and working. Uh, I still have to spice up the UI a little bit. I'll just see you back at my classic a roll setup and finally we'll get to look at some samples and some other stuff. So yeah, we finally have a minimum viable product. I'm pretty excited about that. So here we are a few days later of full on head scratching and finding answers to very unique problems on Google and coding and coding and reading stuff I just purely don't understand. We finally have a working version of the app, but yeah, this is how it looks like. I spiced up the UI a little bit and it's, it's very basic. It's just very basic. I mean, it cannot even record audio. It doesn't tell me when I'm recording. It does give me timestamps, but you know, it just records full sensor 4k video so there's that i mean to be fair there's only so much i could do in in the span of a few days while making this video uh so yeah i, I left on a few stuff but nevertheless we have a working version of what we wanted to achieve and without further ado let's take a look at some samples and the first thing you immediately notice from these samples is the amount of headroom and the width of the image you can capture it's it's pretty amazing and when you put it side by side and compare it with the 16 by 9 version of the same image i mean you can see a significant amount of difference it's almost like you switch from crop sensor to full frame and a proof of concept app like this can definitely unlock a lot of opportunities when it comes to uh filmmaking on the iphone and who knows uh filmic pro might come out with an update which will let you record the full uh, sensor coverage in 10 bit and of course their app is much much better than you know what i cooked up in a few days 
and to be completely honest my app is not flawless at all i'm not claiming that it's perfect it's just a working proof of concept and uh, the biggest kind of flaw which i noticed aside from the uh, janky record button and no audio capturing is there was a certain quality drop when you compare it to the Dolby Vision HDR uh, video out of the default camera app. Apple just does so much extra processing and smart HDR and all that, all those tricks. I mean, that crop might as well be worth it through the default camera app, I'm not gonna lie. And also what I've realized is that Apple probably crops in and punches in uh, the image during video mode because uh, to compensate with electronic image stabilization, which is pretty important when it comes to, you know, handheld uh, videography so yeah that's basically it this was a very fun very crazy yet sort of a silly project not really sure how to kind of describe it this is easily the craziest sort of niche idea i've ever had and i had tons of fun making this and also making a video about it and talking about what i like because that's exactly what this channel is all about and i really hope to kind of shift my content from just talking about tech to also making tech and that kind of adds like a different dimension of value uh, to simply just being tech YouTube videos. So yeah, I'm really excited for what's upcoming on this channel this year. And yeah, I'm not gonna release this app on the App Store. It's just, it's way too basic and uh, mediocre. And uh, maybe I'll polish up my Swift skills and make it even better. And the entire project source code is up on GitHub. So if you want to contribute anything, if you want to fix some of those mistakes I made, you're very welcome to do so. I'll be happy to merge some pull requests. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.